What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thank you for stopping by. Apologies for the last video. I don't know what happened in the editing software that I use, but for some reason it cut out and made a couple of black images. So I apologize for that. Luckily, it didn't cut out my voice, so hopefully it's not too bad or too much of a boob error, but whatever, it's going to be what it's going to be. But welcome to the video. Thank you. I appreciate it. And as the title suggests, what I want to talk about today is what I would term as the mechanics of Destiny. And for me, it's the thing that makes Destiny so good. Or it's the thing that used to make Destiny so good. And specifically, what I'm talking about is things like, like in Destiny 1, where you've got, you know, all of the rays, where you've got Vault of Glass, Crota's End, you've got King's Fall, Wrath of the Machine. And it was about coming together and each of you working out your strengths and your weaknesses and you all working out your own little ways of doing things within the game to allow you to help the team and to allow the team to do better things and for it to be amazing and incredible and it was always really really good fun and it was the thing that made me personally come back to the game all the time and level up every single character and, and keep doing all of the bits and pieces now hand on heart i've not done any of the raids in destiny 2 none but i had multiple upon multiple upon multiple completions of all of the raids in destiny 1 and i mean the thing that's kind of got me thinking about it was playing well doing doing the pit really um because you can see it in the background i'm playing with shortbread i'm playing with uh teats and we're doing um the boss section and it's like we all have our own little specific routines and things that we do to make it work better for us so like i know that i'm the ball runner in this and shortbread is the guy that brings down the ball and then teats is the guy in the background that's going and getting additional swords and then me and teats are helping take out mobs and bits and pieces and stuff like that and we've got it down to an absolute fine art now when we're doing it yes there's a couple of deaths in here but we know how to do it that well that it's not even a panic in panic stations and it was the same and this is what i mean when it in terms of the mechanics of the game when it comes to stuff like you know like you're doing crota's end and soloing the lamps so you just say to your mates right we're going to jump into this I'll, I was the one that used to solo the lamps and oh god how good was it when that lamp used to explode and vault you all up to the end so you get all the way you solo the lamps and get all the way to the end and get get the um, uh, the platform going so then all of your mates just come up and make the way across and they're just little things at King's Fall Raids different, I, I was the runner in King's Fall Raid at the very very end of Oryx are flying all the way around and all of that kind of stuff It was it's that mechanics of sitting down and working out a strategy that just made Destiny what it was for me yeah you know there's the PvP element of it but the PvE element of it when you go up against these things that have you have to have a strategy to go with it like in the background for, for whatever reason we were having a chat about some of the best ways to do it and the best ways to kind of Sort of, sort of make it work and what we could do to make it better. So Tom would run a bubble, Shortbread would run um, well a radiance, and I would use uh, Golden Gun. But I would use it and I'd pair it up with Celestial Nighthawk. So when I do a shot on the guy's head, I'm doing like 183, 184 thousand damage when I do a shot on the guy's head. So it's just working out those little strategies within your head about how you can make stuff work. And it only just started to dawn on me again when we started doing the pit and started working that way around again. It's the same when it comes to doing the Seraph Towers and bits and pieces where you work out who needs to do what, how the strategy needs to work, how it needs to work its way around it, what, who does what, where, why, where, when, what weapons you need to use, what weapons are going to do the most damage and just trying out different things. And for me, that's one of the most obvious things that's gotten lost in destiny as a whole is that ability to be able to do that and that ability to enjoy that don't get me wrong those things are there for you to be able to do however the biggest problem is is that the content that surrounds those things for me is so weak and so repetitive or just feels like the reskin in the reskin of the reskin of the reskin that it makes it very difficult 
to sit down and go, right, do you know what? I'm going to bust out all the raids. The only character that I've used on Destiny 2 is my Hunter. I've touched... I say that's probably a slight lie. I've touched the Warlock and the Titan. It's a really bad thing to say. <laughs> uh, a little bit. Not a lot, just a little bit. And... I just... I don't have the desire to, to do it in the same way that I had the desire to do it in... Destiny 1. Even when Destiny 1 was coming to the end, we still did it. You know, you wanted that triumph still. You wanted the moment of triumph still. You wanted to go and do everything. And it was just, you know, it was just, it's that, and again, just talking about it, it's the mechanics of the game and how you make it work and how you make it work in your favour and how you do it in a particular way. Like if we're doing um, a nightfall or an ordeal or a nightmare. I'll always make sure that I'm running tether with the rigs on because if I'm running tether it means that I can get a load of things ensnared in my tether, create a load of orbs at the same time but I also have the ability as Night Stalker to go invisible so if any of my teammates go down I can pick them up without being spotted if they go down sort of in in the middle of all the fight that's going on and it's that little bit of strategy where like right who's going to run the barrier weapon who's going to run this weapon who's going to run that weapon and I, and this is the thing that i think that where destiny does destiny 2 in particular does need you know props is that they've brought that little element back particularly when it comes to doing ordeals or it comes to doing nightmares is that there has to be a little bit more strategy to go with it so like when you do the ordeal you have to work out who's going to run barrier who's going to run unstoppable who's going to run overload all of that kind of stuff and just getting it right right you need to run um because it's match game you need to run a solar weapon and run a void right well i'm going to run arc and i'll run solar right okay well i'll take hard light because that means that i can do all three you guys have got the the champions sorted out but it's and it just feels like that's starting to come back a little bit more and i am you know genuinely really really keen to run the the raids and go through all of the raids and get them done i mean not so much for the weapons but just more for the completions although oddly i seem to have the achievement for doing the leviathan raid on hard which i wasn't even aware that i'd done but whatever um, it must be one of them things that i did in my sleep i couldn't possibly <laughs> i couldn't possibly comment but when we bash on the game a little bit or when we talk down on the game a little bit it's because Specifically, the vets that play this game. We're the ones that came before. We're the ones that did Crota's End, King's Fall, Wrath of the Machine. We're the ones that then went back for shits and giggles and went to go and do Crota's End with just two of us or just soloing or whatever. And that content and that richness of the content, which sometimes was lacking, but it would come back again. It just, I don't know, it just feels very stale. And these seasons uh, are the things that kind of disappoint me the most out of anything because as you're trying to do these seasons, and look, I think we can all be honest, the dawning, it, it's been boring. It's been so, so bad. I'm just going to scrape it to 100, I think, before it's finished. Um, the the event, obviously, the Summer Games, whatever what you want to call it, was an absolute fucking nightmare disaster because of everything that just went wrong um, with that. Like I said, it just feels like we're doing reskins of reskins of reskins. And that mechanics of Destiny for the sort of the main proportion of the content in the PvE element of it just isn't there anymore. It's not as good as what it should be. But you can see that it has the ability to be there. I just wish they would let it go. Now, we've talked about it before. We've said it umpteen times. Millions of times that the fall release generally tends to be where Destiny will resave itself again because it was the time when we got Rise of Iron it was the time when that all came back round again and it just gave us a load of stuff to do it's like with the whole going for the, the, the Felwinter's Lie and everything I said it in my previous video was it too much to ask for a cutscene? was it too much to ask for a cinematic, cinematic even to help enrich the story slightly? Is you know is that a little bit too much to ask or, or not? I don't know. It's just one of them things. I just wanted to talk about that the whole thing about the mechanics of Destiny, how it makes you feel, and how when you when it all came off right, 
it's what brought you back to the game continuously because you knew how to boss certain sections and you wanted to try certain things to see if you could be the first to do something or trying somebody else's ideas out. I don't know. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I just wanted to sit down and touch base with you. I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've enjoyed the gameplay. This has been Gibbon, and we're out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Peace.